Hello. Hello. I'm Darcy. I'm Brian. And we are the Stay at Home Gamers. And tonight we are going to play Welcome to. Your perfect home. Oh. Welcome to our gamers. Welcome Nook. to. So we just recently got this and we've been playing a lot. And we said, I think, where did I say that? Oh, my, my Instagram at one time. I said, I saw it last year at Origins and I'm like, yes. we want to play this. And then it was just like so popular that it was hard to get. And we yeah. just kept seeing good things about it, and so then we finally got it. Finally was able to get it. It was like a late anniversary present to ourselves. Okay. I used Thanks. my gift card for it. <laughs> so it is like a roll and write game, except you're not using dice. You are flipping cards. So we've got the stack of cards here. We've got what are essentially like Extra challenge goals, yeah. kind of things are. So the really fun part is if you have Welcome To... You can play along with us, yeah, whether yep. you're playing along with us live or if you're doing it on the replay, mm -hmm. because you'll be able to see all the cards that we have and you can take your own score sheet yeah. and play along and you can try to beat our scores, yeah. which is pretty awesome. And if you do that, please, please leave a comment and let us know. Yeah, we need to see. We would love to know if you played along and what your score was. So, yeah. All right. I'm not sure what else to tell you about it right now. Let's just play it. <laughs> uh, this is our, our empty subdivision, and we're going to be building houses here. Yes. And we'll talk about the things as they come up, I'm assuming. Make a difference. Yeah. So, yeah, the score sheet, or I mean the, the sheet, has three streets. So those are your neighborhoods that you're essentially developing. And then there's different things that you can do for points. These are our goals. The first one is try to get the end house on each street. So that's mm -hmm. what that one is. Um, this one's like a group of four, which we'll explain that with fences. That's like a, what do they call it? And then there's... An estate. An estate. And then three single houses, estates, and two and a five for that one. Mm -hmm. And once you use them for something, you can't use them for something else. So you got to kind of mm -hmm. take that in mind. So. Yes. So the first person to complete one of these gets the bigger Bold score one. point, and then it gets flipped over. And then any other players, so, it's you know. Us. Well, yes, but if they're playing... Oh, I agree. <laughs> then you can get this one. But yeah, if you get it before us, that's the only part that might be a little funky with the... Yeah, because in theory, if you finish all these, then the game has to... But stop. they would know, at least with score-wise, just, just stop. purely with yeah, score-wise, you, yeah. um, you would know, like, if you hit this before we did, that our score would be, like, or a little you, bit lower. Or if you got all these, or if you get all these, you could just stop the video there yeah. and be like, okay, this is what they scored. But we wouldn't know our score at that point, though. But yes, you can right. still play along. Yes, it's it, still doable. Yeah, you can play till we stop. See if you beat us there. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, this this is one of the advanced ones, which is why it has a little asterisk there. So some of them are not like some of them have a little bit tougher goals and stuff. And also, the roundabout we can do that too. Which is, we, we can do. Actually, done it, but we can split the roads in half if you like to. Yeah, which is is an option under the advanced variant. I mean. I feel like we've played enough times now that I haven't I haven't felt like I needed to put a roundabout in yet, but we're definitely we're up up to some additional challenge. We have been totally fifty fifty no, on winning. Four games. So So who would you like to see win tonight? Gamerville. <laughs> Mine's D Town. <laughs> <laughs> Going Thanks, Dane. That's a nickname that one of my friends gave me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I named it. Oh, you should see it. There it is. Then, it, a then it's easier for you to know that this is Darcy's, because it's D-Towns. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then you have Gamerville. I'm red, also. Yeah. Yes. I have black. Normally we use pens, but we want to just make sure that our numbers and stuff popped a little bit more for you guys to see. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I think we're ready to get started. Yeah. Actually, I can keep it there. All right. So we have three different piles. So you just deal out three, piles, three stacks. Seven, yeah. uh, and then we flip them. Which we can do now to show you. Yes. And you get to choose one of these. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's six. Yeah, one's actually upside down. So you get to choose one of these to do right now. Mm-hmm. So these are the house numbers that you have to do, and then depending on which house number you choose, you can do the action that's with it. So like this one, these are called, is this temp. the temp? Yeah. So you can adjust this number. By one or two, either way. Um, 
down or up a little bit, which helps you when you have to fudge the numbers a, a bit to like fit in what you need. Yep. This one lets you build a fence, and this one lets you um, increase um, real estate value. Yeah, so the, the, the estates or whatever. So. And you have to go in order. Um, you don't have to have, you don't have to be sequentially in order, as in like you can skip numbers, but you have to be in order unless you build a roundabout, which is yeah. right. So you can't put a seven and then put a five. Yeah, that's where it, it's usually in the beginning. It's usually pretty easy, but then once it gets going, it's, actually yeah. this one's kind of they're in the middle here, sort of. So it's like hard to put up at the right. section eleven. Here. And it is helpful to know that the house numbers that are in the deck only go up to fifteen. With the temp, you can go up to seventeen or down to zero. But that's helpful to know because the first game, I thought yeah, the numbers went to 18. So. I'm not sure how you ever thought of that. I thought I was going to have a whole lot more. Like, I started like 14 or 13, like in a little too far from mm -hmm. the end, not realizing. So, yeah, that messed me up a little bit. So, it's important to know that, mm -hmm. like, how many numbers or how high the numbers go. So, this is the, like, the first round so uh oh, shit, I don't know. I can't do that never mind hmm. I know what do I want to start with thinking this is my the shorter street no, I'm gonna put 13. it only has 10 across on it or 10 I'm, uh, houses on it cross off the temp so I keep moving my sheet so I'm, a lefty. I'm gonna put my eleven. I'm doing this eleven with the fence, and I'm putting building a fence right there. You must build a fence. You can't you know, unbuild a fence. You can't unbuild it. Because there are things you can't do over a fence. Then we then we get all done, and we flip the next one, which is a twelve, a five, and a thirteen. And so these are parks. So if you build a park or you build a number, and then you cross off from the park ones here, and you get more points. You're basically building a park. Mm-hmm. 5, 12, 13. All right, so I'm going to put 12 on the end here. My 12 also. With a park. Hi, yeah, 12, thanks for 13. joining us. We're doing pretty good. How are you doing? All right, next one. 13 with a temp. I'll leave it upside down because <laughs> 11 with it's a park. 31. <laughs> and a 4 with a temp. Oh, that could be Ooh. handy. Actually, I think I'm going to do my 11 here. I am going to use this as a do the temp um, going up to 14 on the end over here and then crossing that there. My sharp is a little, little, little fatter, so hopefully I get it's read, read, readable. All right, nine, 13, and uh, four. Now that one, this is a pool. So if you build this house on a spot with a pool, you circle the pool. And then you cross off on the bottom. It says extra points. Um, so we got a question asking what game it is. So I just want to make sure if you're joining now, you know what we're playing. We are playing a game called Welcome To from Deepwater Games. And it is like a roll and write, except instead of dice, you're flipping cards. Mm -hmm. And then you're having to like mark things off and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully build the best neighborhood and have the highest points. So... Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun, and you can have a lot of people play it, which yeah, is so awesome. Yeah, it's 1 to 100 on the box. Yes, and you can also play solo as well. But, yeah, as many people as you have sheets of paper for that can see the cards, mm -hmm. you can have playing. So, it's pretty awesome. It is. Um, and then, sorry, oh. I was explaining the cards. And then the BIS. Yes, flip and write, basically. Yeah. BIS is, it allows you to duplicate a number anywhere mm -hmm. so if you're stuck and you get a um we found today that bis is latin for for two, for two or second or something like that so it's like the second i guess in france they use it to be like, like duplex a like in america it's 54a or 54b or whatever or a half or whatever so you're basically building a lot bigger house with more you know a townhouse i guess so and this comes in handy when you're trying to fill in some numbers but there is a penalty with yeah, it so you will get negative points but the nice part is you have to write the number you don't have to put the bis on the same number as you wrote you can put anywhere you want so right same with the fences you can put them anywhere you want okay i need to actually build my thing here yeah that was nine. Oh, man. i do my nine here and build a pool um, hey Copy else too. he's copying my I development am. over here uh yeah 
building on the right. that same house there. A six. It's like all upside down here. Sorry. Thirteen. And then ten. Then our temp, abyss, and a fence. I'm going to build a fence. Where do we want to build a fence? That's a good question. Right here. And the shrubbies do come in nice. I mean, just yours are just a little thinner. It does. Make it yeah, it makes it just pop a little bit more on the page. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm like off the screen here a bit. do my ten there, and I'm gonna build another fence. All right. So nine, ten, a seven fence, and a ten or twelve bis. Hmm. Yeah, what do I want to do here? 10, 11, go up to 11 or down to 7. 12. I'm going to abyss yet. So I'm going to do the 9 and go down to 8. And then I have to mark that off there. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on like what all I'm trying to like go for. I'm going to do 12. Do the abyss. I'm going to do 13. I'm going to do A just because it's hard to fit that in there. Mm hmm. But so, we know what it means. Don't forget yeah. to cross off your... <laughs> Gotta make sure you get those negative points for, your, for building that. <laughs> not, not. Now, you can't... One of the things... Did you, I'm sorry. You might have already can't said this. Can't build a fence. Can't build it. a fence in between. Which makes sense. A duplex. <laughs> yeah. And you can't bis over a fence. Yes. Yeah, so it's a three in a real estate, an eight in a real estate. Actually, if you look at close of these cards, tell you what the bot back is for future planning. It doesn't tell you what number's coming up, but it tells you the back. So... Two real estates and a park. Six, eight, three. I'm gonna do an eight. And I'm gonna increase my my five. I am gonna go a six here and build another park. Nice, nice. What's the park's name? D Town Park. <laughs> Eleven fence. Eight park. <laughs> yes. And fourteen real estate. Uh, Two. I finally got a low one. I'm going to do 11 and a fence. And I have this one. Oh. Two and a five. Nicely done. So I, I get the main points of the goal. I put it in my three spot. Flip it. And then I have to cross these off because they've been used. It can't be used again. Yeah, he Sorry, can't. My lefty he, here. Even though none of these have the five and two, but if another one had a two, he couldn't use the same one. So you just cross off the top two. fence, they call it. So. Um, I'm trying to stay on the screen here. Okay, so I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do the 14. And even though it's not a ton, I'm using the real estate to increase for my my little. It does one it. actually that helped me last night because there's three points each to be a whole bunch. It's of them. true. Yeah. Like for something like that. It can add up. So we got a three in the real estate, a two in the fence, oh sorry, one in the fence, a, 14 in, a 13 in real estate. I'm going to do one because that's hard to come by. Yeah. Not hard to come by. Dep I guess it all depends on how the deck is, you know, shuffled. So need to build I'm a doing fence a one, and I'm going to build a fence as well. Again, you don't have to do the, the extra bonus one or whatever. It's not required, so you just need a number. It's, it's hard to pass up some of these. All right. Eight and a pool, mm. seven and a park, and eight and a fence. Okay. I'll do an eight and a pool. Cross off the pool. Okay. I have no my strategy until I okay. deep into it. I'm doing moment. an eight there and a fence there, and I have completed four, one, one, the one. four one one one. Now, if you've noticed, which I just realized this, I did my ones a couple of more here. There's no way for me to complete this one because this. Oh, you just yeah, you just used them up. Yep. So did I. I didn't even realize that. I so, wasn't even thinking about it. So that won't be the end of the game. Usually you can end the game by filling all the... We can't do this one. <laughs> since, uh, since. So, but I mean, this was more points. It's technically it, our so. first advanced goal card we got, so... So I got nine on that, so I got to mark... So the only four. way this game is going to end oh, is if you run out of... If you get denied too many times, which means you can't write your number down. Or if we fill... You fill it in, yeah. The neighborhood or something, so... It'll be first. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I just was like, oh wait, but it yeah. was—it's so easy to build the ones on the side because you yeah. already have a but fence. Yeah, the, your points are worth more anyway. Was so. Ten and a fence, seven and a abyss, eight and a real estate. Wait, this is a twelve. I'm sorry, I keep reading the first one that popped up. When I turned over, that's what I kept reading. <laughs> Here, I'll flip this. Nine and a abyss. Um, hmm. I'm doing nine, but I'm not going to do abyss. Yeah, yeah you was, don't. Ha in this yeah, that wasn't the best choice. You don't have to I do this. I already wrote it. What? To me, it was my best choice because I skipped my card and oh. I already wrote the nine. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to do no. the thing that's with it. It's just you can only do the one that's with that number. Mm -hmm. I'll do this 12, and then since I have this four real estate, I'm going to mark that one off. Right. Seven in real estate, 10 in a pool, hmm. two in a real estate. I'm going to well, do 10 in the pool. Cause I to am too, people. but it's on a different street, though. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're going to put your tent up there? Yeah. These neighbors are just the rich neighborhood at the pools up here. The upper scale part of my second <laughs> vision. Yeah. All right. Three in a fence, eight in a fence, and a two in a park. I'm sorry, a nine in a park. I see the two <laughs> in my head, and I just go, okay, that's a two. Well, I can't build a nine. Oh, I can't build a nine. I'm gonna do a nine in a park. I'm gonna do a three in a fence. Nine in abyss, twelve in a real estate, six in a real estate. Man, all of it. I'm just flipping it so that it looks good for anyone. Try to make decisions on what I want, what numbers I don't want to use because now I'm gonna get into right. Them. Open for a seven, I guess, instead of four. So, all right, six, and I'm gonna increase my ones. I'm gonna go a twelve there, and marking off for another four real estate. Right. Seven and a fence, two and abyss, five and abyss. Hmm. Seven and a fence. I guess I could do that. I'm going to do... Huh, I'm going to do seven, but I'm not sure where I want to put my fence yet. Well, you got two and a five, right? I mean, that's your next one. I'm assuming you're working on... Probably. Hmm. It's right up to you at this point. <laughs> I'm going to put my fence there. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Five and a pool, fifteen and a real estate, ten and a real estate. I don't have any room for fifteen. Oh, I, I didn't leave any room pool. for that. It's gonna be a pool neighborhood. I'm gonna five and a pool. <laughs> Can't let you get all those pool points. Mm -hmm. Eight and a fence, four and a real estate, ten and a park. Ooh. Eight, four, ten. Yeah, I'm doing ten, <laughs> ten in the park. <laughs> That's how we become fifty-fifty because we're just like. Okay. Ew. Well, normally we're not like next narrating other. everything that, that we're too. doing. I mean, or next to each other, we usually cross. So we usually have a general sense of what the and other. Really, one's cheating doing, is but it's not going to win no. for you. You need to do something different to win. Right. Nine in a temp, seven in a park, six in a pool. Just an umbrella. All right, nine. Hmm. So right now I can go either seven to eleven. Oh, seven. Nice. I got the whole road done. I don't think I've ever done that. Okay, so this one can go to eleven. Yeah, from seven. Oh wait, to 11. that's not. Yes, that is what I want. Okay. Eleven. This one goes up to eleven. To eleven. <laughs> <laughs> well, old people get that one. <laughs> a nine in abyss, a ten in a park, eight in a fence. It's going crazy. I mean, it doesn't get to the point here where I can't do things anymore. Nine, right. Eight in a fence. Eight in a fence. That is my 
four, three ones. I have four ones, I think. But. Okay. So I get five points for that. All right. So I'm going to do... I'm just going to take these three and these four. Nine and of this, which I'm just going to do is one A. And mark that off there. Hi, Judy. Thanks for watching. We're yep. going to have to bring this game when we come visit next. <laughs> 14 in a park, a 1 in a temp, Ooh. zero option, 11 in abyss. Ooh. 14's good too, it's hard to pass up. I'm gonna do a 14 in a park. Yeah, I can't do a 14. I'm gonna do zero. I'm somewhere. gonna do. Zero, 1, 2, or 3, I guess. I'm gonna do a 0. Kinda uh, add just a 0 anyway. I don't think they're literally your zero, so I think you just put them in there. <laughs> All right. A nine in a park. Five in a real estate. Four in a park. Okay. I'm going to do four in a park. Five in a park. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you in the wrong? You no, I was nine. I'll do a four there. Oh, yeah, because the five is real estate. All right. 11 in a park, 10 in a real estate, 8 in a real estate. All right, good thing I can still do one of these. Um, eight, and then... Yeah, I'm going to get to the point two here soon. Yeah, I guess it's the only one I can... It's just my four one that I can count. 15 in a real estate, six in a fence... Six in the park. Fifteen. I can't do fifteen. Now. Six. Have you said eight or six? I can do a six. Do I want to do a park or a fence? Well, I got both those, so I'm doing a park. Oh, I think I need to do a fence. Okay, so it's obviously a six. And then. I don't think there's a benefit for me of doing fences anymore. Right. I need five. One, two, three, four, five, and then I got my two. two. So I do have we get the three same points, amount of points for that one, yeah. And neither of us can do the other one because we had counted. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about that. I knew advanced one. We didn't. I haven't done an advanced one yet. I wasn't thinking about that at the time when I did that. How I so I mean, I'd say there's no benefit to drawing fences now because they don't do you any good at this point. I actually, mess you up with bisses and stuff like that. You know? Right, but I did want to get no for your for these. Yeah. I mean, once you're done, there's no reason. Four in a park. Five and a fence. Twelve and a pool. Oh, it's right there. Look at that. I'm doing twelve and a pool. I'm doing four. Do I want to do it there or there? Yeah. Don't ask me. I'm going to... I'm going to do it there. Four. And park. Right. Seven and a pool. It's getting harder to place them now. Three and a fence. Five and a pool. Four. Seven and five and pools. <gasps> See if I would have waited, I could have <laughs> five on that pool. That's that's five okay. and pool. So I'm going to do three because I can place that on any of these streets. I'll put it there. I'm not doing the fence though. I don't need it. Right. A one in a temp. Seven in a temp. Hmm. Eight in a pool. No part. Part. P. Thing with a P on it. <laughs> All right. So seven can be five, six, seven, eight, or nine. This can be zero, one, two, or three. Okay. So I'm gonna use this for a five. I'm gonna do a zero. I mean, technically, even if you grab this and you keep it a seven, you still get the bonus. Oh. Because it says it says negative two, negative one, zero, one, or two. So you can just cross it off. Okay. Assuming that's how that works, based on how how it reads. All right, we're done here. Oh, we gotta shuffle those. Intermission. Yeah, just gotta shuffle so these. These will quick. be fence, park, and pool. So depends on what house numbers. I need to put good numbers with that, in, in other words. Oh, I forgot. Whoever gets the... In theory, if you get a goal, you can tell them. You can get the cards reshuffled. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 
that. Yeah. But yeah, there's a bit of a fencing operation going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it is hard to get the fences you well, need. Well, we had a goal I, last night was like a whole bunch of ones. There's like yeah. four ones and was, something like that. So I had a whole bunch in the top here. There was a whole bunch of them, and then I couldn't seem to get them when I needed them to build. I haven't had trouble cutting off any other goals until this one because yeah because usually it doesn't overlap so much where it's not really a big mm. deal yeah even with sixes and fives you can do it okay my piles will be messy oh you know what first, cutting but... fences will give you points well i mean like i can make a six here and get points for that well yes okay i, didn't I think mean about that. in terms of having complete estates like i don't need to split anything up too much like right here right now because this one's a one two three four five so I have two that are... But you want to get a bunch more fours if you could, because you'll get a ton of points. One, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of true. reasons to build fences. So, there you go. It depends on what you're... No, oh, I know, but there's no downside at that point. No, there's not, like, a downside, like the but... best thing. Yes. It might take a little while. Sorry. So we'll get a soda. The, uh, <laughs> and the piles will be a little messy for a moment, but then we'll straighten them up. You probably take on this do like that. But. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's not fair if I do that. That's though. true. But yeah, we've been really enjoying this. And since it's That's fairly quick to play, we've been usually playing two games back to back. And it says 10 plus. Our daughter could play easy to play. Our son, possibly. I think it can get the strategy. I don't think it very well, but we'll be able to play it. <laughs> Just wait until I'm done. Well, we're covering up the other ones. I don't <laughs> Mix it up. Now we need the expansion. Oh yeah, see, there's an expansion. <laughs> I didn't order that yet. So you might get more sheets. Not that we're, yeah. not that we're near any of the other sheets right now. No. This one I feel like will come with the torches next week. Though. Oh, I'm sure. It's small-ish. <laughs> we could build our own private Idaho. Okay. <laughs> it's a five fence, eight park, eight pool. All right, I can't really put any eights anywhere, but I can put a five somewhere. Or eight. And it has a oh, fence. Oh, no. Okay, so... I got my first uh, building strike. permit, whatever, denial. Okay, so I can build a five. But I don't know if I necessarily want to build a... F like, right now, if I... Yeah, do I want to build a fence there? I guess I could. I mean, you could build one here, and you'll get four, and it'll be times seven. I know, but... Okay. I also have two fives. I know I don't have these higher numbers, but I have two five estates. There are 81 construction, I think they call it construction cards, and then there's 27 each pile, so you just mix them. I think I'm going to put it here. Okay. And then might get a chance to build. Six real estate. Another one. Nine bis. Seven park. Uh-oh. Six real estate. What do I have lots of? I can't do any of those numbers. I have my first denial. Well, we're even there. Once you get three denials, the game stops. That's one of the ways. All right. 14 temp. Nine real estate. Three temp. Oh, I can, I can do that. I know. Those are all helpful. Okay. So I'm doing this one as a 13 over here. I'm going to do a one. And temp. I mean, these are three to make a one. All right. 10 park. Seven park. Four temp. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that uh, helps me too. Two. Okay, I'm doing the four this as a, two. A, as a three. Makes you fill the board up instead. Possibly. Six real estate, nine fence, five temp. It's always three stacks. Yep. Yeah, so it doesn't matter how many players you have. Mm -hmm. I. The only I don't even think it changes for solo. I think I haven't read the solo rules yet. But. There's something else that comes up. Like there's a different card that you put in for yeah, solo. Yeah. But for sure two to like a hundred or whatever <laughs> they say on the box. Um, it's just the three stacks. Don't use the five temp. Make it a three. Okay. These temps are being very handy right now. I know. Um, I'm gonna use. You get the most temps, you get actually get four points. I can do a four. No, you have one more house. Oh, two more houses. I have two more houses so left. Six real estate, nine real estate, 12 fence. Uh -oh. Those are all bad for me. 
I can't build any of those, so. All <laughs> around. 13 fence, nope, not helpful. 14 park, not helpful. 7 park, not helpful. I'm out. Time out. We always, we've always done all at the same time in that, in that sense, haven't we? Same yeah. Round. So now we just add the points and then we total the points and go from there. Yeah. So I know this is going to be the super exciting part, right? <laughs> For In terms of watching. Yeah, so I have 12 goals. Oh, parks. Oh man, I have zero up there. It's the first time. I have my top street, I maxed that it out, so I have 10. Street. Oh, that's such a nice. 18, but I did not max that out. 21 in pools. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. How did you do that? I got a lot of pools. You beat me in uh, temps, though. <laughs> so you get seven. How many ones do I have? One, two, three, four. Four ones. Six. I'm going to use my other side for these tiny ones here. Um, one, two... Threes, uh, zero threes. One four, one five, and zero sixes. Twelve, two, four, seven. One bis, and then ooh, negative five for that one. Ooh. All right, let me add that up here. Totally in my head. Oh, I didn't finish that one. It's only one four completed. Yeah, you only get points for completed estates. Not my best, but too it's not fast. too shabby in terms of what we've gotten so far. Nope. Okay. All right. I had a plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. plus, uh, <laughs> hands in the way there. Seven. Oh, you're doing that for me. Oh, Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I was like, I gotta switch Minus out. Minus 100. He has the really rich neighborhood if he's got that many pools. 68. That's all? That's all. Man, and I thought I was doing It is some well. I got 100 last night. I didn't feel like I got 100 last night. I think that's my lowest score. 60 is my lowest score so far. I've had lower than that. I had 87 or 83. 83. That's, you did good, especially the with pools, the pools. The pools helped me. I didn't realize how well you had lined up. I did. Your that's pools. my best pool score yet. Like, I was feeling good. Like, I went after this, like, right away. I must always win the um, attempts, so sure she got me there. Yeah. I was I was trying. And there's roundabouts. If you do that, then you get negative points for those, too. We didn't have any roundabouts, so. No. I guess I could have started that at some point, and I didn't. I feel like by that's the, time the last I felt, resort sort of thing. But by the time I felt like I needed it, it was kind of too late to... Yeah, because you can put over here. I mean, I guess you could go zero. Over. I guess if you go in here, you could put 15 right there. Or whatever. True. At the end. I mean, but again, does it does it make, really help the points? Right. So, so you get negative three immediately. But I guess if, you, if you're finishing up a something, I guess it could, it could work out. I just... I don't think that far ahead yet. Yeah, I haven't really... I haven't used the roundabouts yet to try to maximize, to, to see how I can use it to maximize my score. And, I mean, it's different, too, when you've got more people in terms of what scores you're Yeah, we haven't against. played with more than two yet, so. Because you're not, like, you're not affecting each other's no, scores no, no. other than these, like, yeah. being the first one. But just to compare, like, what people get, because it depends on where you place things and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um and then the temp thing is the only other thing because the person who has the most of those gets the highest score. Yeah, by three points more. So it's not like it's so. A, it shouldn't make or break your game. No, but when we have more people involved, mm. that'll yeah. change it up just a little bit. But I, you know, I went after. Well, the, the four was the estate that I had completed at the time. Mm -hmm. So I went after like yeah, maxing it's hard, that it's out. Yeah, hard to know in the future. But then I didn't finish this one, so I didn't have two, and I didn't get to put a second fence over here. Mm. But I had the two fives. A fence I told you to put over here, I haven't got any more points. <laughs> but if I would have, like, been able to, to do that. Just like Pawnee and Eagleton, or Eagleton and Pawnee. <laughs> D Town. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it's called Gamerville, it's only that. Does it sound like it's you want to move there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like to play games, but you know, 
Are they just all playing like Marco Polo in their mm, pools? There you go. <laughs> That's it. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. We really, really enjoy this. Yeah, and I never feel like at the end of the game, like, oh, I lost. That was no fun. No. You know what I mean? I mean, I was surprised that my score was only 68 because I felt like it was at least comparable to most of the other games that we've played. And I've been more like anywhere between 70 and 80 something. So I was a little surprised that I didn't at least break 70. I mean, like the a lot of games we play, like the the cooperative ones where it's like, oh, we, we didn't win. Kind of thing. You like, feel like, oh, we're so close. Right. But this is like, hey, it's fun every time. Yeah. And you just see your little neighborhood, you know. And it's, you know, it's hard to say, like, if I would have done, you know, like how it would have changed something if I would have built a house somewhere else at a different point. Yeah. That could, yeah. Just totally know. What card you pick. So. so, yeah. I don't know if we're still showing this or if it's. Oh, no, yeah, I'm sorry. We're still showing the board. So. I don't, have like, that, I don't have that up right now. There we are. So, yeah, we definitely recommend this. Uh, I'm glad that we finally were able to get a hold of a yeah, copy. I think it's, it's, it's easily, easily found now. For a while easier. there, it was tough to find. Yeah. It's, I think it's much easier to find it now. For a little while, it was... I think they kept just, like, running out. Yeah, it's not so It's not very big. It's just... <laughs> Thanks for watching, this. Charles. Have a good night. It's my little box, so it all fits in there nicely and everything. Yeah. You get a whole bunch of cards, probably a couple hundred sheets, I should say. Not cards. Yeah, oh. I have the thing right here. I mean... And there is an app. They, they link to it in the game. Um, an, an app where you can score with. I haven't used it. The reviews are, you know, mid, mid-ground. Some say so we should try it it's out. It's helpful, but the UI is clunky and some things don't work, right? So I don't know. We will test it out at some point and let you guys know how that works or, you know, what our experience is with it and whether or not that might be worth... Oh, you can always playing. laminate. And just dry you race. can laminate and do dry I'll erase. I'm assuming... I, I'm sure. I'm sure you can buy a refill. You can just... make copies of it, too, if you have a color copy or something. Or even black and white. I think the black and white looks, like, funky just because there's so much color. It's true. So if you had a color copy or something, you could do that, too. But... You get a lot. You get enough to start with, even with the yeah. 100 players. <laughs> I mean, you get two or three games out of that, but... <laughs> right. But, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to taking those over and introducing some of our friends to this, and we will... I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to pack this and take it along to Origins next week. So, if you're going, let us know. Yeah, play. Because this one you can throw up, you can sit down at our table at the convention center and play. Yeah. So, and we'd be happy to do that. Mm -hmm. We will have our children with us, so just a fair <laughs> warning heads up on that. But <laughs> They're ruthless gamers, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we, uh, we definitely are interested in meeting up with you guys if you are there and playing some games and we will definitely be demoing a bunch of stuff while we're there as well but we always take some games with just so that we have things this is a quietish one yeah correct but they go to bed or whatever we yeah it's something that like, talk to each other yeah something that we can easily play in the hotel room after the kids are, are in bed mm -hmm. just gotta shuffle quietly I mean, that's it's not terrible. You know, I mean, to shuffle quietly will take. That's the one thing we always have problems with. It's like, oh, we're not going to shuffle these cards. It's, like... it's not the worst noise, though. No, no, no. Like, dice on the table. Like, I don't know, wood yeah. table while they're sleeping is a little much. Um, but, yeah. So, me taking it with. But, yeah, really, really enjoying it. Glad that we purchased it. And, yeah, a couple of roller ride games now that we've played that I really like. Yeah, I've been really. I don't know. Why, I, don't, I don't know what the the feeling of like writing on the papers is, feels like more. I yeah, know. I don't know. Like the steamrollers one is kind of nice to like draw things. Yeah, we'll have to play that one live for you guys too. Yeah, we're not sure how well he's seeing it. I like guess if we use sharpies again, it might come in. Nice. Yeah, because that one with with if you're not familiar with steamrollers, it's you're making these train routes and then you actually do have it's it's like a it's a roll and write but it's also a pick up and deliver yeah it's got a little cube because you have to like make these routes so that you can deliver things it's like part of it uh but yeah it's just so that one had, or disaster it's too. just interesting mm -hmm. and we've been having fun with that one too but we didn't know that we would like roll and write games so much or like this one more of a flip and write mm -hmm. but we didn't know that we would enjoy these so quite as much. So we'll have to look much. at more of those this year. And, yeah, I'm like, there's there's quite a few that I want to try. <laughs> All the roll and write Let us know your favorites if you have any out there. Yeah, drop them in the comments. I mean, Quix is still of a roll and write, too, that we play. Yes, Quix is a roll and write. Really it's more like just writing X's. <laughs> but still, it's yes. based on your rolls and what you choose and mm -hmm. 
you know, you have to. This make is actually decisions. very similar to Quix because you're putting in numbers and you're trying to. You can't yeah. go in order and go on and overwrite numbers like that. So. Yeah. So, thanks so much for yeah, watching. Thanks for the comments. Um, don't forget to. Well, we've already got a lot of comments, but don't forget to comment. Let us know what you think of this game if you have played it, all that good stuff. And then if you play along, whether you go back and try to like beat our scores or if you were playing along and you just didn't tell us <laughs> definitely leave your scores in there we would love to know how you compared how with you ours and yes <laughs> how badly you beat me because i got 68 this time it's totally fine though um but don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and like and all that good stuff and if you know someone else who you think would really, really enjoy playing this game, make sure to share this video with them. Yeah, totally. So that they can see how fun it is. Mm -hmm. And then maybe they'll want to play with you. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to get people to... It's right. how we got friends that play games and yes. share games with them. We're like, we're bringing games over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're those people. Uh -huh. Oh, and if you haven't done so yet... Head over to stayathomegamers.com slash giveaways. We do still have some things running up there and... I do have a couple more that I have to put up, but we do currently have Zombie Kids Evolution, which is a awesome legacy style game for our kids, and it's a great way to introduce them to legacy games. So we've got a giveaway running for that, and we also have Call to Adventure Good on there, which story. is a great story-driven game, and Bunny Kingdom in the Sky. So you do need it's an expansion. So you do need the base game of Bunny Kingdom, but it is totally worth it. And you can win it and then buy the base game. You know, right. Either way, and still getting half it free. Right. And especially if you like like area control, dra like card drafting kind of mm -hmm. games, then I mean, it's one of our favorites. It's mm -hmm. one of our most played games. So we are in partnership with Yellow, giving away Bunny Kingdom in the Sky expansion. So go over there and enter to win those and I think those are the only ones that are right now the other ones ended and I need to contact some people hopefully it's you right I was out of town for a couple of days so I'm a little behind again but yeah I'm gonna go now <laughs> so we will see you at the next game bye